Well, we know that patients who consult with a rheumatologist from other studies, that they have better outcomes. And we have found in our research that there are problems, and not only in our research, but others have found also that there are problems in access to rheumatology for patients with rheumatoid arthritis. And also, uh, orthopedic surgery, which is a very costly and often last resort type of intervention, has not really been studied in relation to early access to rheumatologists. So, what did we do? We identified patients with newly diagnosed rheumatoid arthritis in a physician reimbursement database that covers the entire population of the province of Quebec uh, in, uh, in 1995. So it's a population of about seven million people. And all had to have been ultimately diagnosed by a rheumatologist and we ensured that these were all new cases in 1995. So the way we did that was that we we made sure that in the previous, in the prior five years, that there were no physician visits with a diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis. Now, we identified time from diagnosis by a primary care physician until consultation with a rheumatologist, and divided our sample into those who were seen by a rheumatologist within three months. We use that three-month cutoff that's often used in the literature, uh, and those who were seen after three months. We also had a large group who were first diagnosed by the rheumatologist. Now, everyone who is uh, seen by a rheumatologist has to be referred to them. So presumably they were referred with some other diagnosis, but ultimately were diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis. So that group we called the unspecified or undetermined group. So what did we find? Well, 16% of our entire group underwent orthopedic surgery over 12 years. This was approximately, we had approximately 4,000 patients in our cohort. And 14% underwent orthopedic surgery in that unspecified or undetermined group, the ones who were first diagnosed by the rheumatologist. 17% um, underwent orthopedic surgery in the early group, that is those who, were, who saw a rheumatologist within three months of being diagnosed by their primary care physician. And 24% underwent orthopedic surgery in the late group, those who were seen after that three-month cutoff. So, and although over time there was an increase in orthopedic surgery in both the early and late groups, now I'm really gonna compare those two groups, the rate of increase was higher for the late consultors, especially as time went on. So we concluded that early consultation with a rheumatologist is associated with a lower rate of orthopedic surgery. And this is policy implications uh, because uh, we know that orthopedic surgery is very costly, so our results add more credence to support that early treatment guided by a rheumatologist in patients with RA is very, very important.